The national healthcare system is an achievement of all Cabo Verdeans. It was created with a simple but very important goal, to ensure health care for everyone and everywhere. Today, more than ever, this goal has become a reality. Thanks to our public network of hospitals and health centers, everyone has the medical care they need. But universal health care was an achievement that took time and hard work. It is the result of a national strategy that began to be developed soon after the independence of the country and required the commitment of all politicians, health professionals, civil society, and the World Health Organization. Only then was it possible to build a universal, affordable, and quality system, and the benefits were plenty. We started by tackling insularity problems with the creation of a telemedicine network, which not only reduced the number of medical evacuations, but also has been working as a distance learning platform for new professionals. We strengthened the sector's autonomy with the regionalization of health centers, a pioneering process that eased the distribution of human and financial resources between islands and brought health professionals closer to the population. Today, there is better health care for everyone and everywhere. 80% of Cabo Verdeans live less than 30 minutes away from a hospital or medical center, and for every 10,000 inhabitants, there are on average 6 doctors and 14 nurses. We also live better and longer. The average life expectancy reached 79 years for women and 71 years for men. All these gains had a positive impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. But talking about health is also talking about the future. That is why children's medicine was at the core of our intervention. With the national health care system, we managed to dramatically reduce child mortality in children under five years of age. We increased vaccination coverage for measles, rubella, hepatitis B, and peritidis up to 95%, and eliminated diseases such as poliomyelitis. We also strengthened the survival of our newborns by setting up a human milk bank and implementing a public breastfeeding network, which in 2018 had a coverage rate of 45%. The numbers prove that investing in health means promoting the country's economic and social development. This is a strategy that starts in hospitals and public clinics and continues throughout the daily life of each one of us. This is why the government of Cabo Verde is promoting a culture of healthy lifestyle habits through national initiatives and programs that encourage sports, combat drug and alcohol consumption, prevent early pregnancy, and advocate for the use of condoms. Our experience tells us that health is an asset that must be cherished every day and not just at the time of illness. It is in this context that we will continue to build up the national health system, consolidating gains and preparing it for the challenges of the future, such as the treatment of chronic and degenerative diseases, the provision of long-term care, and the sustainability of the system itself. Together, we will continue to make health one of the pillars of Cabo Verde's development.